Pieces of Her. There are several noticeable differences between Netflix's Pieces of Her adaptation and Karen Slaughter's novel of the same name, but the overarching plot of the show stays true to the books for the most part. One big exception? The ending. Slaughter's novel gives mother-daughter duo Laura, Tony Collette, and Andrea Bella Hethcott the ability to move on with their lives, while the series presents them, Laura in particular, an entirely new reason to keep looking over there. Defending Jacob. Both versions of Defending Jacob end with a shocking accident, but the outcomes are different. The Apple series, starring Chris Evans, Jaden Martell and Michelle Dockery, sees both Laurie and her accused murderer son Jacob survive, while he dies in the book penned by William Landay. The Undoing. The question is Jonathan a murderer? Is the crux of HBO's entire series The Undoing, whereas in the book it's based on, you should have known, the answer is clear from the start. Yes. Nine Perfect Strangers. Not only is Carmel not Masha's shooter in the Leanne Moriarty book, a huge twist that's dropped on the show's viewers toward the end of the season, but Masha's Elsewhenver threatened by the calls and texts that exist in the Nine Perfect Strangers series. What is in the novel though? Francis and Tony getting married in. Jessica and Ben breaking up. 13 Reasons Why. When a TV adaptation gets the multi-season treatment, it makes sense for new plots, characters and backstories to pop up. However, season 1 of Netflix's 13. Reasons Why stayed somewhat true to the novel of the same name by Jay Asher, that is, until the end. After listening to the tapes left behind by Hannah Baker, who died be suicide, Book Clay mailed them to the next person meant to listen and that's it, we never heard what happened next. On the show, Clay bypassed Bryce, a rapist in both versions, and handed the tapes over to the school counselor. Several new stories played out from there, and the season finale ended with Clay peacefully driving around with Tony and his childhood friend Sky, who, in the book, he doesn't reconnect with until the very end, once he realizes she's showing signs of being suicidal. Game of Thrones. George R. R. Martin has yet to release the final two books of the A Song of Ice and Fire series, but he's publicly stated that they'll feature a different ending than the Game of Thrones TV series that had its finale in 2019. Sponsored links by Tabula. Totally fake, the 35 most fake reality shows people actually believed were real. Articles Mansion. The Haunting of Hill House. Eleanor has a tragic ending on Mike Flanagan's adaptation of The Haunting of Hill House, but in Shirley Jackson's book, which is significantly different in much darker than the Netflix series, all of the main characters have bleak endings. Gossip Girl. There are too many differences between the Og Gossip Girl and the book series to count, but perhaps the most egregious is that Gossip Girl's true identity is never fully revealed in Cecily von Ziegasar's novels, while Dan Humphrey of all people is behind the blog on the show. Little Fires Everywhere. The Richardson home burns to the ground in both the novel by Celeste Ng and Hulu's adaptation, but while Izzy lights the little fires in everyone's rooms in the book, it's her three siblings that do it on the show. Additionally, the source material doesn't include the series plotline of Mia taking Pearl to meet her maternal grandparents. Sponsored links by Tabula. She was a legendary actress, today she works 9 to 5. Bedtimes. The Outsider. Both HBO and Stephen King's versions of The Outsider end with the entity known as El Cuco being destroyed. At least, that's what you think happened on the Show until a mid-credits scene implies that El Cuco may be inhabiting Holly's body, 